What's up YouTube? I just wanted to do a brief introduction to this video that I shot the other day. Um, basically, I just wanted to reflect on my non-binary identity right now, as I have just approached six months on T. Um, so, I just wanted to introduce that video. In this video, I'm going to talk about non-binary identity, pronouns, names, um, but especially chest, as I have... Um, I'm a big person, and I had, had, and have a big chest, and what that means for for being non-binary, especially since, you know, so many, so many of the images of non-binary people that we see on Tumblr or wherever uh, tend to not have that situation going on. So I wanted to introduce this video. All right, thanks. Uh, I find that I'm passing as male a lot of the time, even in the summer. Uh, and I say even in the summer because in the winter or the fall or the early spring, I wear hoodies or jackets a lot. Uh, but in the summer, I don't. And, and I don't bind. Um, I have, like, a pretty big chest. So when I was wearing uh, bras, like, they were pretty big. Now, I still wear bras, actually, sports bras. But they are um, really kind of minimal, really just kind of, you know making me feel a little bit more physically comfortable, not emotionally comfortable, anything like that. So I still wear a sports bra, lounge bra type things. Um, although I'm considering looking for some more of the like minimizing sports bras that will make my chest less visible. But I'm still passing as male a lot of the time. I think it's my voice, it's a bit my face. Um, I was passing as male sometimes before just for having short hair actually. Um, and I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I like it. I feel delighted sometimes when people treat me as male, but I also kind of have conflicting feelings about it. Um, so, I don't know. Right now, I'm using whatever pronouns people want to give me, whether that's he, she, or they, um, or anything else, but those are the main ones. But if I write something about myself, or if I speak about myself, I generally use they, and I'm kind of wondering if I want to move in that direction of using they more exclusively. But I do kind of like um, that there's an option for how people want to read me, and I just went somewhere, stayed, stayed at an Airbnb place that was specifically trans-friendly, um, but main, but more so to trans women who were first coming out. And so I think people didn't quite know how to read me. Am I like a trans woman trying to come out? Or am I just like a deep voice lady? Or what's going on? People there use she pronouns for me. And I, I felt a little uncomfortable about it. Um, not bad, but just uncomfortable, which is a signal to me that maybe I should start thinking about using they more exclusively. Uh, the name that I use is a female sounding name. It ends in A. Uh, I don't want to give it here just for privacy reasons right now, but um, that's the name that I usually use. I kind of feel conflicted about that. I like my name, I like how it works, but it just it signals too much of female identity, which doesn't quite fit with me. And so I'm thinking about some ways to handle that, but I'm not, I'm not really sure at this point. Uh, I did promise to talk a little bit more about chest issues in this video, so I'm going to be... I'm gonna show you my chest, not completely, but just so that you have a handle. Okay, so a lot of times I wear t-shirts, right? Similar to this, and in most of the videos, I'm like this, so in you know, your imagination, whatever. Um, but in reality, like, these are, I don't know, 44, 42, like, G, I wanna say? G, okay? So we're not talking double D triple D, any of those, we're talking like higher numbers. So, uh, let me just show you, okay? So this is what we're looking at. Like I've mentioned before, I kind of got this tummy going on, uh, and this is my belly button right here, but yeah, we're talking about some pretty obvious things, okay? So, I do not bind, I just find it uncomfortable and a bit ineffective, but honestly I've never... Um, gone past a pretty tight compression shirt. I never actually went and tried to get like a legit binder. Um, but again, comfort to me, like physical comfort is very important. So uh, I haven't really 
gone. I usually go out like this, you know? In teaching, I'm wearing a polo shirt instead of this. Maybe an undershirt with it, but I don't really go to any lengths to try to hide it. Um, I feel like I like my chest. I might want to have chest surgery at some point, either to minimize or to, you know, have more male-looking chest. Uh, but I actually enjoy what I got. Um, the whole, you know, erotic sensation issue is probably something that's important to me. So I enjoy having these at certain times, but anything public facing, I would really rather not have them with me. But, you know, you don't have much of a choice on whether or not you have them all the time or part of the time. Uh, so uh, I think kind of my relationship to my chest shapes a lot of my feelings about non-binary uh, because, one, they're visible, not, you know, all of them, but the shape of them in general are visible. It's not something that I, w I can hide easily, or I can hide in a way that makes me also feel physically comfortable. Um, so they are somewhat visible. Uh, so I do think of that a little bit as really shaping why I do not really identify as F to M exclusively. I mean, if you want to do like that f toward m maybe but <clears throat> just non-binary so my feelings about my chest i think really shape my non-binary identity but also bathrooms like i don't again i am just so much about physical comfort like practi practicality type issues um, I don't want to use the men's restroom. Why don't I want to use the men's restrooms? Because I want to sit down when I pee. And when I sit down, when I pee, I don't want my clothes to fall into a puddle of piss or a former puddle of piss that's now dried and just gross. You know, like, I'm kind of a germaphobe, not hugely, but yeah, I'm kind of a germaphobe. And I don't want my nice clean clothes to fall into the area where in front of a toilet a lot of men will just, you know, let the couple drops drop as they put their stuff back in their pants, and I don't want my clothes to have to get into it. So, I use women's restrooms exclusively. I've got some, a chest that looks pretty much like a female's chest. And then I got my face and my voice, which I think um, most people see more as male. So, that's really what shapes my non-binary identity. I don't, again, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I'm six months on T. Who knows how I'm going to feel one year or two years on T and, and, and how it's going to be for me. It may be really uncomfortable to use the women's restroom if I can't pass as ambiguously gendered anymore. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to have to see as things progress.